Hi, um, I'm Marley and I work for Contact the Elderly. I cover the um, South Wales region, so I'm in a small part, half of the west to Monmouth. Um, so it's a bit, a bit bigger than Cardiff, but, uh, as you can tell, I'm always in my car. But tonight we just thought, um, as we're here to celebrate your centenary, we'd just like to say thank you for asking us, it's a privilege really, and we're really grateful you picked us and one of your charities. Um, as I thought, the best way for me is to tell you a very little brief synopsis of um, Contact the Elderly nationally. And then Kate, who is one of our volunteer organisers, will tell you briefly about how we actually work in Cardiff in the arts group level. And Audrey, one of our guest members, has very kindly come along tonight and is going to tell you what it's like for her because there's nothing like someone who experiences contact the elderly to <coughs> tell you it as it is, really. And I think Audrey will say it as it is, <laughs> which I don't know. <laughs> Um, so if I just tell you where we started, it was um, started 48 years ago in London, seems to be a common connection there, yeah. um, by a young solicitor, <laughs> another common connection, yes. um, called Trevor, and he used to walk on a Sunday along the River Thames, and he saw the same lady every week walking along on her own, she was quite elderly, and he got talking to her and he said, you know, why do I always see you on a Sunday, and she said, it's the time I feel the most lonely. So he asked him for a cup of tea, and from that cup of tea, um, he spoke to other people who also knew people who were living on their own. And um, from that one cup and that one group, we've now got far, over 5,000 older people we help, and it's just grown from there, really. Um, Trevor's grown with it, he's now uh, still a practicing barrister in his 70s, and is almost a year short of an age to join us as a guest. <laughs> So, our uh, jubilee is in uh, two years, so we hope in, uh, we still keep him on as the chairman. Uh, just nationally as well, in the last six months, we've been really successful. We had the, one of the 60 charities that was given the Queen's Award for volunteering, and um, early this year we had the WCBA Award for Health and Social Care. So, we are trying to grow and become more known. But really at the heart of it, it's a very volunteer-led organisation and they the volunteers and people like Audrey coming to enjoy the teas. We wouldn't be anything really. So Kate will just tell you very briefly now about what it's like locally for you. So, Kate. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Kate. I'm a volunteer in for letting you let me talk about something that's really close to my heart, and that is contact the elderly. I'm a volunteer with Contact the Elderly, um, and I coordinate a group in Cardiff. And the group consists of around 15 guests and around seven or eight drivers. As a coordinator, my job is to arrange teas, contact the guests once a month, arrange a driver for them. Um, get them picked up and just generally make sure everybody gets to a tea um, and has a good time. I've been a volunteer for about eight years with Contact the Elderly. I started out as a driver, um, picking up an elderly guest once a month. It's a very small commitment, two or three hours a month. Um, and from there, I went on to become a coordinator for the group. When I was first thinking about volunteering, <coughs> I really wanted to do something that was practical and hands-on. And Contact the Elderly is just that. Volunteers throughout the country arrange a Sunday afternoon tea, sandwiches and a chat for a group of elderly guests once a month. For those elderly guests, those teas are a lifeline. They're a lifeline of friendship and sometimes they're only outing during the month. Many of the guests are isolated, with little or no contact with family or friends, and some need just a little bit of help to get out of the house. <coughs> I've met some lovely people, guests, drivers and hosts. I've met some really eccentrics, and we'll meet one later when we meet Audrey. I've heard some sad stories, I've heard some uplifting stories. Um, and I particularly remember one half of my group, um, I picked up these two ladies and they started chatting and discovered that they had both worked in a munitions factory together in Bridgend during the war. And this is the first time that they had met since and picked up their friendship where they left it. 
So I can give you lots of reasons um, why I volunteer for Contact the Elderly. There are the people, the older people, the young people who do the driving. They've got amazing stories to tell and they've led incredible lives. There's a sense of reward that far outweighs any effort involved with the charity. And there's cake, of course, very close to my heart, usually homemade and generously supplied by the hosts. And finally, and most importantly, I enjoy volunteering for Contact the Elderly because it's worthwhile and because it's fun. Thank you. Thank you very much.